to talk about fonts. If you click on this button here, you can type up a word and you can see when this word first comes in, operation up here is a basic cut. Now I know there are a lot of people that will go and change this to be a drawn image with the pen. But then what you're going to notice is that it does just an outline of the letters. And that's because your Cricut blade and your Cricut pen are going to follow the same path. So if you want this to look like handwriting or printed text, you need to look under here under style and make sure that there's a writing style font. I am going to actually duplicate this one because I want to show you the difference. If I go under style and find a writing style, do you see how that changed to a single pen stroke? So that's the difference between a cutting font that's changed to be drawn or a true writing style font. But what if you really love this font and you want your Cricut to color it in? I already did a video that I'll drop a link to about using a hatch fill, but there's another way you could do this. So typically we would use an offset to create a shadow or an outer layer, but I want to try doing something kind of fun and try to do an offset to the inside. So first, we're going to change this back to a basic cut. And I'm going to make it a lighter color so we can actually see the offset happening. If I go offset but slide the line to the inside, do you see how that created the line to the inside of the letters? So let's try doing it a little bit closer. Okay, so now we're going to go apply. And that made a layer inside, which is the offset. So now let's make an offset of that offset. And yes, I know technically we're making it inset. So what I'm doing is making an inset making different inset layers. So let's make, that one's going to be too tiny. Okay. So now once I have all those layers, I'm going to select all of those and change those to pen. You can now see that those are going to have multiple little drawing lines inside your letters. So that's going to help it look more colored in. It's not going to be foolproof, um, but it will make it look a little bit more colored in. And maybe with a different design, it might look more full. Let's You're try happy. another one. If I do the word happy, and then I make this really large. So this is over 22 inches. So now if I do an offset, and do it to the inside. I can apply that and then keep doing more offsets to the inside. And because I made this so large, I'm getting more offsets in here. So now I can change all of these to the pen and then resize it down. So let's just go three inches. So now those lines are going to be in there really close. And that's probably going to fill in a lot better. You can see how those lines kind of look more filled in. That's because those different offsets are so close on top of each other. Since I make a lot of birthday cards, I want to try doing this with a birthday image. And I'm going to look for images that are either free or that I've purchased. 
Let's use this one. So I'm going to add that to my canvas. And I am going to make this, let's just do three inches wide. And what I'm going to want is for this to be colored in, but then I want it to cut around the outline. So I am first going to add an offset. I just want a little, a little tiny offset. There we go. And I'm going to go apply. I'm going to make that offset white. And I want it to be a full cut. So I'm going to go into contour and see all these little openings. I am going to close them off so that it's one solid piece with no interior cuts. Perfect. So now what I want to do is start adding insets to the word happy birthday so it will color it in. So I'm going to go offset, but instead of choosing an offset, I'm going to go this direction so it's an inset. And you can see very faintly the blue line that's the offset. So I'm going to go apply. And now I'm going to keep adding insets. So now what I want to do, let's just turn off the main offset, the white one. And I'm going to do that by clicking on the eyeball. So now all of these, I want to change them from basic cut to pen. So now they'll all be drawn with the pen. You can see there is still a little bit of a gap. So if I wanted to make another inset to try and make this fill in better, I totally could. So now if I take all of this and say attach, it's going to hold the placement and position of those written lines or drawn lines on this design. So now if I go make it and continue, it's going to connect to my machine and let's go head in so we can start the process. First thing we want to do is make sure our pen is in the pen holder, and then we're going to load our Cricut cutting mat. You'll see that the double arrow button is blinking, so I'm just going to press that. And the next thing is the C button will start to blink. I'll press that button. And now the Cricut will start to draw those inset lines that I made and set to draw with the pen. I do want to let you know I'm going to speed up this video because I want you to see the whole process of it drawing the lines, but I don't want it to take as long as it would take in real time. So now when the Cricut stops is when we're going to flip open that lever, pull out the pen, and insert the Cricut cutting blade. And now I will press the blinking C button, and the Cricut is going to cut that offset that I did around the outer edge of the letters. 
And you can see it didn't truly color in the letters, but it made them look more filled in because those little lines that it was making for the letters were so close together, it almost looks colored in. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.